Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I got an interesting question from uh, one person that how do we download a report using REST API as per this article. So this article says that uh, you log into the workbench, you change the header, uh, some, and if you set the request header format as this it should download a file but that's not working on workbench so the question is how should we validate uh, or let's say how do we use a curl to download your report using an api so uh, let's see how we can do it so first step we need to do is of course create a connected app to create a connected app you can go on app, ma app manager create a new connected app here you can give some uh, any any name, uh, your email address, and you have to enable OAuth setting. You have to give some callback URL, for example, HTTPS, localhost, port, HTTPS, anything. And then you can give maybe the full access or API. And once that's done, all you have to do is save. So you already have app created and that should be somewhere okay. let's see. i see postman download access so this is the connected app i already have created if you want uh, i can see this is the connected app and it has a consumer key i have almost gave all the scope here which is not really a good practice you should only give the particular uh access or scope which is required and uh, consumer security is here now what I will do is first step we have to do is get the access token now either you can get access token by following my blog open this so you will see like four years back I have wrote an article that how to get the credential in this video, I'm going to show you another way how to get the token. So let's mix of Postman. So I'm in Postman. Uh, all you have to do is say get new access token. And you have to make sure that all like URL is same as your connected app URL. That's the URL Salesforce URL for authorization URL authorization. That's the Salesforce URL for token. Now this client ID and the client secret we got from our connected app. Once you say the request token, uh, it will give you a token. In my case, I have one token already, which is I'm going to use here. So once you get a token, uh, next thing we have to do is we have to follow this article that how do we download a report as an Excel sheet. So if I follow this article properly, this is the URL I have to follow uh, that my domain in my case is jadev at dot lightning dot force dot com services data api version analytics reports in the report id now i do have a report if i go on the report uh, let's say this one go on all reports so let's say the test record which I have created. So this test record record has some. This report has some record. What I'm going to do is I want to download this report as an Excel sheet using Analytics REST API. Let's see how we can do it. Pretty simple. Uh, we are going to use a curl command. And if you go on my Visual Studio, this is how we are going to use curl command. We have to provide authorization bearer and this value i got from postman here and then uh, i have to say i have to accept the format as an uh, spreadsheet and this value is again coming from the documentation here next parameter it is talking about let me see here then the next parameter is which URL we are going to hit. Again, this URL is coming from documentation. 
now in the curl command if you want to download any file you have to use dash dash output and name of the file so if you see right now i have a file already uh, let me remove that file or maybe what i will do is i will create a new file let's say sample report one now one thing in the curl is i have used a uh, dash l so if you don't use this parameter in the macbook you will not be able to see any output here i struggle a lot uh, so that's one thing if you are trying to do the same using postman all you have to do is copy this url go back in postman paste it here uh, and you have to say send and download now the problem is there is a bug in the postman which is not allowing me to connect to the salesforce and i'm getting an error like session expired or invalid so if you are getting this error don't spend your time i already spent an hour and then i came to know that there is a defect in the postman that's too much for the easiness of the ui so it's better to go back on curl and let's see how it's gonna work so what i will do is i will simply copy it as you can see there is one folder one file there i will paste it the new file name is sample report one dot xls as you can see curl just downloaded file if i see what are the files there as you can see two are here and let me open sample report one dot xls Being someone in the time, and as you can see, this report has been downloaded with the help of curl using analytics REST API. Hope you enjoyed this video. You learned something new. Uh, please provide your feedback, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.